player but the person and and hopefully we can uh, you know one day have him retire as a white Sox. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast, and that was White Sox senior VP and GM Ken Williams expressing his happiness on keeping Paul Canerco in the fold. Has the White Sox agreed to terms with Canerco on a three-year deal worth $37.5 million? Canerco has spent the last 12 years with the Southsiders, helping them win a World Series title in 2005, as well as becoming the spokesperson for the franchise. Ken Williams stopped by the MLB.com live set at the winter meetings on Wednesday and explained why the team offered the 34-year-old veteran a three-year deal. We think that Paul Canerco is going to be able to uh, be productive for three years. Uh, we look at three-year windows type thing. We think this team has enough veteran leadership and enough youth to uh, certainly be competitive for this three-year window. The north side of Chicago made some noise at the winter meetings as well on Wednesday, announcing a one-year $10 million deal with free agent first baseman Carlos Pena. The 32-year-old Pena hit just 196 last season, but has averaged 36 home runs the past four seasons. The former All-Star also brings the glove to work, winning a gold glove honor in 2008. Oh, I love Chicago. Every single time we visit, it's one of my favorite cities uh, to visit. So to, to be able to actually live there and uh, play for this organization uh, that has so much history and so much tradition and uh, the fans, uh, so much passion for the game, um, I couldn't be happier. And it looks like the top tier free agents in Cliff Lee and Carl Crawford will remain unsigned as the winter meetings wind down. Here's MLB.com analyst Jim Duquette with the latest on Lee and Crawford. Carl well, Crawford, the information on him and from his camp has been very quiet, very stealth. I think that has been interesting. A lot of people like to think that the Angels are involved with them. Cliff Lee, the interesting news on Cliff Lee is his agent, Derek Broniker, has left Orlando already. And uh, certainly uh, no deal in place. If there was a deal that was close, he would certainly be yeah. sticking around because we know that there might be a press conference around the corner. The fact that he has left means that this is going to continue to drag on for a period of time. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of all the rumors from the winter meetings, stay locked to MLP.com. It's baseball everywhere.